lovely people um, if you notice my voice sounds a little bit weird I've got the lurgies I've actually I ain't got corona or nothing I've got the uh, the old man flu but um, I just thought I'd do a quick little update what's been going on in the garage really so um, none of you have seen this on the channel but if you're on the motorcycle rescuers Facebook group then you would have seen it I purchased this about two weeks ago two, I can't remember too precisely two or three weeks ago and um, I've got on a really good deal I'm not gonna say the number because it doesn't matter about that but um, it all runs and rides fine the only thing that was um, the guy said was wrong with the bike was it was a little bit smoky. And what else did he say? Um, yeah, so it's a little bit smoky. And that was about it, really, I think, something like that. But um, when I got the bike, test rid it, yeah, rid lovely. All the gears nice and smooth and was a bit smoky. Now, I checked the oil on this and it was quite low. It wasn't dangerously low, but I don't know how much these take because these are 125ccs and I know you're thinking that does not look like a 125 it doesn't these wheels on here these ones here these are bigger than my suzuki gs 500 wheels over it and that is actually telling you something so these bikes handle really well they're very heavy and they are double cylinders oh, i can't it's a little bit tatty this bike it's um well it ain't got no cracks or nothing like that oh sorry my bloody my chest is hurting a little bit but um it's got a few nibs here and nibs there it's, got, it's just Generally, generally tatty. So first thing I done when I got this bike, I put it on the uh, paddock stands, dropped the oil, put some new oil in it. Um, after that, didn't have no problem. Oh yeah, there was another problem with the bike. He said the carbs need tweaking, which they do. It does start up in that, but you need to start it up on choke. But um, we'll get into that in a minute. So yeah, I changed the oil and there was no smoke. It's running not even a lot better. Um, it cuts out when you like when you stop at the lights. If you ain't got the choke on. Now and then it cut out. So these carbs probably need balancing or something like that. I think there are two carbs. And uh, I, I got it such a good deal. I said to myself, I'm not going to do nothing to this bike. Because I got it on such a good deal. I can still make profit and not have to put man hours in. Because that way you get a bit more for your money. Which it ain't always about. But I've been speaking to this guy, um, Reese, Really nice fella from Cornwall. And um, we've been chatting since I've really had this bike. And he's got a, oh, what is it, a Kawasaki ZZR6, 600, Ninja, 1997, fresh. And it's, um, well, it's a lot better than this bike. And we've come to deal, we've come to a deal to do a swap, this bike and 200 quid. Now, the 200 quid is just literally for the courier. So, we're basically swapping it. And, um, so, yeah, he's got the 650, I, I don't know, to be honest with you, I ain't got a clue. I'm a bit tired, I'm not all there today, as you can hear in my voice. Um, yeah, so he wants this 125 and I'm going to take the 650 or 600, whatever it is, I can't remember, I think it's a 650. And, um, well yeah, I'm looking forward to it, the only thing is we've got to wait till the 25th, but we're already sorted everything out, all the paperwork's all done, on my behalf it's all done, and on his behalf it's all done, all we've got to do is wait for the courier. And um, the only reason we're waiting for so long is because the courier is it's the only available date he's got, and he's doing it really cheap for 200 quid from Cornwall. So it's going to come from Cornwall to pick this up, wait, to drop the his bike to me and take this bike to him. And that is really cheap. And um, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put you on the tripod and I'm going to let you hear it. I'm going to pull it out a little bit more because it's got something really sexy on the other side. A nice Black Widow exhaust aftermarket. And um, yeah, it sounds grisly, there's no baffle in it. And it makes the bike sound how it looks, like a 650. So if I whack you on this tripod for a sec... It might take me a minute or two to start the bike, just because, um, well, I haven't started it for two weeks, and plus it's got carb issues. So if I whack you there for a sec. Oh,
it cuts that. So, um, not really a big issue. The guy knows everything. I've sent him videos of this and he's happy with it. He said the first thing he's going to do when the bike gets delivered to him is take the carb off and give it a clean. Now, I was going to do that myself, but obviously you can see I'm a little bit full up in here. And on that note, I want to say a little... Uh, I just want to say something about the other bike I had the other day. So, the Lexmoto Hawk. Now, a couple of you messaged and commented. And, um, well, you basically just said, uh, well, you, I should have really kept the bike. And, um, and I should have, like, looked into it further. But I've got to think realistically now. I'm one man in a little tiny side garage, whatever you want to call it. My man cave. And... I'm a bit overloaded at the minute. I've got one bike out the front and I've got four bikes out here. So, quick update. That CVR over there. By the end of the, oh, I can't get my words out. By the end of today, that's going to be my new daily runner. If you've been watching for a while, you know that I've MOT'd this. We built me and my mate Liam, really good friend of mine. We basically rebuilt this bike from the ground up. Um, we put new engine in it. We tweaked a lot of things. It's still, um, it's a run in progress. It's got MOT on it. And I'm going to tax it and I'm going to insure it soon. I'm just waiting for a call back from uh, my insurance, which is Lexum, if anyone's wondering. And uh, if you're a 125er and you want a good um, insurance, Lexum, they're all right. I'm not going to like big them up because I've had a few problems with them in the past. But they're all right. They're quite cheap. Um, so, yeah, that the CBR, that's going to be my new runner for work. Um, if you see the Galaxy Wrap, if you have not seen it already, um, go flick through my videos. And uh, oh, I'll tell you what, I don't even know if there's any on there now. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but um, I've only got 14 to 15 videos on my channel now. I used to have 30 odd, but um done a bit of investigating on YouTube. Uh, what's it called? Oh, oh, I've done a bit of investigating and I found out I got done for copyright quite a few times. All because in one of my intros that I made, I made the intro on um, Video Shop. I used one of, the, uh, one of the music things off of Video Shop. And I got done for copyright, and um, my fault not for checking. But instead of editing all the videos and muting it or whatever, I couldn't. I didn't have time for that, so I just deleted them all, and started fresh. So I've got about 15 or something videos now. But um, yeah, it's not a problem. So we have loads more videos anyway. But yeah, let me know what you think of the CBR. It's coming really nice. I think I can't. I'm going around my mate's Lee. I'm meant to be going there today, but I'm going to get the time. I've got things to do. Um, the tank's going to be galaxy wrapped. Everything else is going to be galaxy wrapped, and when I do get a chance, the rims will probably be getting sprayed. I don't know, like a nice purple colour. I don't know. I want to try and get like a Nat Snacker's Yard effect. Like, if you ain't seen Nat Snacker's Yard paint effect, go and look at his channel. I'll leave a link up the top right here. Go and have a look at that. If you want to see how to paint with a rattle can and come out professional, definitely go and take a look. And I'm uh, thinking about giving it a go on my rims. But, um, yeah. So, um,. Not much has been going on. I've been working so much. I'm really ill. I've just got back from work from being ill as well. Let me go off a little bit early. The, um, the YBR is outside. You've all seen that. Um, that should be going this week. I've got someone coming to view it later. But I'm not in no rush to sell it. I'm not insuring it no more. But um, it's a nice bike. I put a lot of work into that bike. And I'm not letting it go too cheap. Because uh, it's it's a really reliable bike. Actually, uh, I rode up to... Where did I ride? Up Islington. And went to see the motorcycle rescuer. I'll leave a little picture at the top right. Had a really good day up there actually. I'll give him a big shout out. That's his um, channel up there. I'll leave a link in the description as well. Lovely fella. Learned a lot from him. And uh, well, I went there and I, I can't even lie to you. I felt like I knew him already. Like I pulled up. He was doing a deal with someone on the uh, T Max. I pulled up to him and I just looked at him and smiled at him. And I, I didn't even say that. I just walked past him while he, he was like, This guy's buying a T Max. I was like, Cool, let him do his thing. I went and sat in the corner and that. <laughs> and the next thing you know, like. Oh, we just clicked in that. Everyone was there. Jake was there. Sultan was there. Um, Rab Jab. Quite a few people come down. And it was just really nice. A really nice bunch of people. And uh, well, they're just so helpful. And just good people to, uh, to have in your circle, if you know what I mean. If you ever need any advice, help, anything. But, um, yeah, so... Let's think realistically what's going to be next on the channel. Because um, tomorrow's my last day at work. Sunday, what have I got? Oh probably going to rest on Sunday, try to get rid of this bloody man, man flu, he's doing the nothing, nose is dripping and everything, you can hear it in my voice, <laughs> but um, yeah, the next one I'm probably going to try and get out of the way is this Lexmoto FMX, 
Because all this needs is an aftermarket, not an aftermarket, it needs an exhaust, but I've got that, uh, I've got that in the shed somewhere, uh, I've definitely got it, I've just got to find it, and obviously it needs one of the studs drilling out the manifolds, but I'm probably going to just, um, I'm probably just going to get a smaller bolt and drive that through, because it's not snapped right there, there's still got a bit of play on it, because uh, I don't want to risk snapping my, my, uh, my tap, whatever it's called, in the thing, because that's an even bigger job, um, Quick update, I've bought myself a welding. Oh, quick, I might as well show you why I'm here, and I? Let's have a little walk around. Oh, it's like a maze of bikes here, mate. Right, so I've bought myself a little welder for really cheap, 60 pound. This is just a little arc welder, and that is a Sealy one, 160 amp. I've never welded in my life, and I will be doing a video on my first weld. A little bit nervous, but before I've even touched this, I've not even tested this, but I know it works, because the guys, well, I bloody hope it works, pay 60 quid for it. But well, I've got myself a really nice, oh, one sec, <coughs> excuse me, I've got myself a really nice um, welding mask, I've got my welding gloves, and I'm, I've just got like a heavy duty jacket I'm going to use when I do it. But um, I want to do a little bit more, like, what's it called, uh, revising on that before I attempt it, because uh, it's quite dangerous and I don't just want to end up bloody burning through sand or anything like that. But um, I'm really looking forward to using that, it's in quite good condition and uh the guy was actually really nice, he gave me a mask with it, but it's one of them little, um, where is it, let me show you. It's one of these ones, I've got the lens for it, but I don't trust them, so I bought myself a better quality one. Uh, what else have we got? So we've got loads of deliveries come, um, I've got loads of new tools for the workshop, well not tools, but where you put your tools, tool drawers, I've got, paid £170 for this tool drawer, I'll leave it up here so you know what I'm on about. And then I put it on the Motorcycle Rescuers page. Sales hand messaged me and went, I've got one there for a score. So I spent 170 quid when I could have got it for a score. But in the end, I bought them both. And, uh, well, yeah, that's about it, really. But, um, yeah, there's quite a few new subscribers. And uh, just want to say thanks for supporting the channel. It's only a small channel at the minute. And uh, whether it gets bigger or not, I'm not too worried. I really enjoy making these videos. It helps me. It helps my mental health. And, uh, well, keeps me out of trouble. Um, what is going on? So, when the YBR goes, I'm probably going to buy another bike. But, so the only two projects we've really got here, ideally, is we've got this Suzuki GS and this Lexmoto FMX. Because that's basically done me mechanically. There'll be little updates of that, of like when I've finished the wrapping. Well, not me. I don't like the wrapping. I've tried it. And uh, mine didn't come out too well. So, I'm just going to, my mate Liam's going to sort it out for me. That um, higher sung, that's going to be gone the 25th. I'm not going to touch that because, well, if I touch it and make more problems, then uh, I'm, the guy knows what he's getting. We've been really, really truthful with each other. His bike doesn't need nothing. The only thing I think it needs is a new seat because it just looks really old. And it will literally be me getting his bike, putting a new seat on it, polishing it all up and flogging it. And um, I was going to do that with this, but he put a... Um, because normally when I buy a bike, I put, um, oh, I'm ranting, I'm talking, I'm sorry guys. Right, anyway, <laughs> I'll see you all soon. Yeah, that's just a quick update. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, you know the drill. Talk soon. Right, so the big dogs have come down. Got a man like Liam wrapping yeah. the bike in that. Doing a fucking wicked job. He showed me how to do it. Turns out I was doing it all wrong. I weren't using the heat gun properly. We're struggling a bit, but... I know a lot of you wanted to see how we done the wrap, but to be honest, yeah, I, didn't I didn't show nothing because I didn't know how to do it properly myself. <laughs> so the CVR is all insured and taxed now and it's ready to go. So I've just got Liam around here, he's going to try and do a bit of wrap tonight. I've got to order some more because we ain't got enough. But we'll get the tank done and uh, onwards and upwards from here. That's just a quick update, I'll show you what it looks like after. So it was going really well and um, someone... And it's saying no names. Me. Got a little bit too close to the heat gun. And it ripped. So, <laughs> we run out of wrap. I've patched the rip up. Let me just show you. Oh, get me big belly through there. Right. So, it was going really well here. We got to a bat here. And Liam was telling me, like, basically, I put some heat on it and that. And he was stretching it. And I had it on the highest heat setting got a little bit too close and then it ripped and we didn't have no more 
rap. I've only got little bits. So, I don't care, man. I've, I've learned how to rap now. Ish. <laughs> Basically, it's quite hard. The, pan the side panels, he said, are really easy, yeah? But with the tank, just think, you've got to stretch it in all these different directions. And, yeah, it's hard. So, we struggled a bit on that. I'm going to leave it on there because this I'm going to use this as like a little tester because I just want to see what it's like when petrol spills on it and stuff like that and cover that big dent up that I got there. We did sand the tank down a little bit as well because there's a few grooves. But, um, <coughs> yeah, still very ill. But yeah, it looks a bit better, I suppose. Um, got to order some more wrap. And I'm just going to give it another go.